Hi, friends and families of MVO. Uh, I just want to say thank you for your continuous support and making our last season uh, so special and memorable in many ways. Uh, I'm also very excited to reveal to you our next season with more amazing artists and more diverse programs. So I hope you enjoy the video. Some of the highlights from last season include our debut at Orchestra Hall to live and online audiences, the second year of MVO Foreground Composer Series featuring Ruth Gibbs and giving three US premieres of her orchestral works, a resident composer project that concluded with a world premiere written specifically for MVO by John Kuntz, and collaborating with 10 guest artists and two choruses throughout the season. None of this would be possible without you. Thank you very much. We start our 2023 to 24 season by featuring our foreground composer this year, Ina Boyle. Ina Boyle was an Irish composer and was dubbed the most prolific and significant female composer from Ireland before 1950. Her works were seldom performed during her lifetime. Besides the first symphony, Glancry, that Envio will perform in this concert, we will give four other US premieres of her orchestral works throughout the season. This concert also features Minnesota Orchestra cellist Eric Wheeler in the soulful Elgar Cello Concerto, as well as an exciting symphonic poem, October, composed by Dmitry Shostakovich. In December, we celebrate the season by featuring Sarah Grimes, our concertmaster, and her violist sister, Lydia Grimes, both Minnesota Orchestra musicians, to perform Mozart's charming Sinfonia Concertante. The same concert also includes the U.S. premiere of Boyle's A Sea Poem, as well as Manuel de Faya's fiery and festive The Three-Cornered Hat Suite. Our February concert opens with Boyle's Elegy for Cello, a U.S. premiere delivered by our own principal cellist, C.J. Point. The concert continues with MVO's ongoing exploration of Mahler's orchestral works by performing his second symphony, The Resurrection. This concert features a big combined choir consisting of Chorus Polaris, Northern Lights Chorale, and the Bethlehem Lutheran Church Chorale. We're delighted to feature two local artists, Elena Stabile and Michaelia Bradbury in the soloist roles. Moving on into April, our fourth concert welcomes the return of Orion Kim, who debuted with MVO in 2020, along with both his parents, Q Young Kim from the St. Paul Chamber Orchestra and Pitneri Shin from the Minnesota Orchestra in a performance of Beethoven's Triple Concerto for Violin, Cello, and Piano. This concert is also coupled with the U.S. premiere of Boyle's Overture for Orchestra as well as Sinsang's Majestic Organ Symphony featuring organist Mark Pacer. At the season finale, we welcome back for the third time pianist Andrew Stolpe with his rendition of Rachmaninoff's fourth piano concerto in its original version. This version of the concerto is newly published and MVO will be one of the first orchestras in the world to perform it. This concert also features the St. Paul Piano Teachers Association Concerto Competition winner, as well as two nature-related orchestral pieces, the U.S. premiere of Boyle's Wild Geese and Sibelius' Symphony No. 5. I hope that you're just excited as I am for next season. Uh, please mark your calendar right now for all the concerts and events of Mississippi Valley Orchestra. Uh, we can't wait to see you there.